What's goody fellas and welcome back to the Soul Mode Dynasty. Unfortunately in the last episode we did Copper L which moved us out of the top 25. Colorado is no slouch either. They're actually dropping the 8th most points in the nation right now. Super tough game. But let's check out the top 25 though. What the word is Miami manages to hold off Florida State so they remain undefeated. We dropped out all the way from 13th which is ridiculous. We are also receiving the second most votes to come back in though. So if we you just keep winning games i genuinely still think that we make the natty at least the top four trust me scott ryan is still leading for the heisman but i feel like the race is as close as ever so we already got the sixth best player in the nation where else would we want to go Lolok cheese not really giving us a lot to go off unfortunately there's some wide receivers but we don't need wide receivers at all we also have eight people ready for visit wow Everybody is coming in this game. Chris Red, Sam Birch, Mark William, Kareem Sharp, John Boland, and Van Reef. We have to get a dub, bro. But fellas, let's aim for 500 likes on this video. Remember, Darius went live earlier today. If you missed that, make sure you go check it out. But without further ado, let's get into it, fellas. Our randomized offensive playbook will be Colorado, ironically. And our defensive will be multiple d okay so the biggest problem for us is uh impressing these young talented people coma we also gotta make sure we get this dub as well oh nice little cheeky juke to start out okay blitz coming off the left that's fine we outspeed scott ryan the first play of the game we get some blocks downfield we can't cut it back in but 43 that's more yards than we got in the entirety of last game Okay, Duffy, that's a great catch right there. We take those. Okay, fake that. Wide open. Oh, good play by the safety. Okay, coach wants to take three. I think I'll accept. We just need to get points on the board. I've been playing so much Darius, it's just nice to take three. Florida State gonna bounce back and beat NC State in their game. And we got ourselves an early third down. Look, looks like going back to our original playbook uh, really helped us out a lot. Okay, I get off the block. Come on. And I get stiff on. It's always on third down. Always on third down. Nick Black can't make the tackle. Bonds. Woo! Oh man, it's never the first. Look at this, bro. We knew that was gonna be tough, but damn. This B plus offense Colorado has is just different though just so different i'm right through the gap i got to the quarterback good play i tripped the running back there's no way we just gave that up that easily got blocked perfectly that sucks colorado over for the first study of the game get that blocked for me man our visu is so slow after playing Darius and seeing how fast they are there and then going back to this is just crazy. Got him. Pegasus. I tried to step back. Not going to let me. And Avizu again. Bit of a slow game here. Pass lead that up. Pegasus. What a catch. The freshman is not to be played with. None of our freshmen are, but especially not Pegasus, bro. He's different. I wish Scott Ryan were different. Damn, we keep going backwards now. Right across the middle. Galvis. I'm not taking three again. I have to go for this right here. We could probably run this through the middle. I mean, ideally, let's just score with Scott Ryan, but I should have waited. Never mind, through the gap, let's go, Scott, that's what we needed. Taking the lead right back. We are down so bad though, like, I just noticed another PAT was missed. I'm not doing PATs, I don't care. If it's a really important game, yes, I will do the PATs, but this Colorado, bro. <laughs> I, ain't doing, I ain't doing the PATs for Colorado. Oh, what a hit, right in the gut. Just ran in so effortless right there. This is a back and forth contest now. 
Alright, let's get it. Come on. On the right side too. Just give me my blockers. See, like, where are my blockers at? You know, Scott can't do anything without the blockers, dude. Dang, again! Had to throw that one on the run. Hands up! Oh, if only we could have broken that tackle right there. We're gonna have to start running the clock out a little bit too. With how back and forth this game is, it's definitely smarter to uh, get to the red zone, start running it out, not take any risks. Any big risks, that is. One hand catch by Metzger! Wide open over the middle. That was a risky throw, but it's on the money, and Metzger gonna catch that. All right, looks like Scott Ryan's not going to be the one to get us in the end zone before half, but uh, we could take a cheeky shot here. Don't want to have to take off again, but I will. Avizu, fourth and one. We're going to call a timeout. We want seven here, and nothing else is acceptable, coach. Stop being a coward. Oh, look at that. They blocked up the middle. Scott Ryan going to fumble it. Bro, he really fumbled the ball though? Like, come on. I understand not getting the touchdown, but to fumble it is... That is different. I'll tell you that much. So we are going to go into halftime. Twenty to nine, because we just let Colorado score the most useless touchdown ever. Twenty to nine now. You know what? We don't even need halftime stats today. I'm fired up. Get there, get there. We have two defenders. I was gonna say, good job, fellas. All right, so we had a very sloppy first half, especially with that touchdown. Time to shake back. I had to run a little bit backwards there. No, oh, the juke as well. Look at Scott still going. Mets got nice spin. He is one receiver who has really stepped up. First, the one hand catch, the ability to be able to spin and move like that is something that we really need in a starter. We already have great starters. Vera Wet's been super quiet, but can never get rid of Vera Wet after what he did. Got him. Separation. Metzger. Of course it's Metzger. He might start next week. Alright, it's time to lock in. We need the ball back. And we need it back now, dude. Not tomorrow. Now. Not in the fourth quarter. Oh, screenplay. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Drew Scott can't make the tackle. But true freshman. 5'9", Chris Meyer can. This freshman class that we have. It's crazy, bro. We have so much talent. Top to bottom. It's unreal. And we have to do something here to get Scott noticed. A big play, maybe. He's going to beat us to the outside. No, he's not. We're down the sideline. 40 yards to add to the stats. Dotty. Ha! <laughs> right back at you. Galvis over the top. That was a really quick turnaround right there. Uh, who's that? Oh, that's Mavis. Okay. Okay, okay. Run play. Get off the block. Oh, we get off the block. We're going to tackle him over for a first day. See, it's tradition. Now that we've got the lead, uh, Colorado is going to be absolutely unstoppable. We're not going to be able to stop him. Guaranteed. Cannot stop these guys. Okay, a broken tackle. Quarterback is just loose, bro. Like, somebody grab this guy. Nick Black, I thought I timed that perfectly. We're going for strips now because we're getting worried. And we injured the running back. Oh, I thought. Good hit. Barney Eggs making a play. Just horrible defense by me. I thought maybe he'd cut to the left there, but oh well. I thought this guy was meant to be injured. Three and a half minutes left. I I'm so worried. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm so worried that I might legitimately run down the clock. No blocks again. That's fantastic. 
whole Scott, I need you to grow a set of nuts, my guy. I've been trying to keep it in for the longest time, but unfortunately, I gotta call you out, bro. I'm gonna need you to check between your legs and see if you have a set of nuts, mate. Because this is ridiculous. The first time you get hit, you can't defend yourself at all. There we go. There we go. Make up for it. Ah, no broken tackle there either. Sack instantly, because number 78 is standing behind the line. Instead of blocking the defensive end, Moore decides to just run backwards and not block. Mean blitz incoming. Of course, it's overthrown. Why wouldn't it be overthrown? Fourth and 18, what are we going to do? I'm definitely not punting it, though. I would 1 million percent rather go for this. We don't gain anything by punting the ball here. Nothing at all. Wide open! Barreras! <laughs> what a play to keep the kid alive! My guy, what a play. That corner was cheese, though. Hey, that's all we do. I don't feel pressure, man. Like, if I mess up, right, and don't make the right call or whatever, at least you know I had no pressure on me. For some reason, I have ice in my veins. I always have, always will. Yeah, NCAA is no different. When it's time to nut up or shut up, you ain't beating me. Sacked again, bro. Come on. Ooh, running onto it at some speed is Metzger. All right, it's time to run out the clock right here because they're not going to call timeouts. How is that not a touchdown, though? Scott Ryan with the dagger. Let's get it. 11 seconds left in this game. Kick off. Nothing going on. Everybody just drop back. I might even try and go for the quarterback here. Hold on. Coming around the edge. Putting the pressure. I hit him. I sacked him. He caught it. It's too little too late. I hit the quarterback. But the Hail Mary was completed though. I don't care. We won the game regardless. We bounce back against adversity. Avizu is going to be your player of the game. Checking out the stats. Avizu, 284 yards, two touchdowns, 73% completion percentage. On the rushing end, Scott Ryan, 4.2 average. Will that be enough? I don't know. But shouts out to the receiver. Metzger, Pegasus, Galvis, all of them balled out today. Without a doubt. Avizu again, super quiet. Robbie Mav is going to lead the team with seven tackles. All solo, two TFLs. Fortunately, no picks, but uh, and that last sack didn't count because I guess he got the ball loose, but it is what it is. We bounce back, and that's all that matters. We'll be ranked next week again. But fellas, if you made it this far in the video, then you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome, and from me personally, I'm out. Sometimes I'm winning, can I breathe right underwater? Ooh. Sometimes I'm winning, can I speak it now?